Welcome back to the BSN channel. As you can see the ingredients right here. You know what time is. It's fufu and soup time. But the only difference is I'm doing the soup. Because my mom's doing her own soup here. She, she doesn't like her intestines, you know. Nama nama. I know there's different names for that, but we call it nama nama. My mom don't like nama nama in her soup. So therefore she's told me, I have to make my own soup. So, here it is. So in my soup, my personalized soup, I've got nama nama, which is, I've got goat intestines, right? Goat ribs, and I've got lamb neck, but only one lamb neck. The rest of these are uh, uh, goat ribs, rib cage, yeah? Nice. Okay, now the first thing I'm doing is I'm gonna let this meat boil for quite a bit. And then I'm gonna introduce the other ingredients I'll be using for later. So I've got half a tin of chopped tomatoes. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of fresh garlic paste. I've got one big onion cut into two. I've got the head of a mackerel, as you can see, my mom. She's using mackerel, but she was gonna throw away the head. Uh-uh-uh, not in my soup. This will add some more stink. Uh-huh. Some more stink. Some momoni. Oh yeah. Okay, I got one massive squash bonnet. Pepper, it's massive, I'm telling you. And I've got a thumb, or a big thumb of ginger chopped up. So what I'm going to do is, that's, this is boiling. Oh yeah, okay, another thing I'm going to add is the salt content. So, I've got jumbo seasoning. Oh yeah, all, um, all purpose seasoning, shall I say. And I'm going to use the teaspoon of this crayfish stock powder. Oh, it, it, it smells, it smells. Let me smell it again. Nice. Okay, so the first thing I do is I'm gonna grind the onions, ginger, pepper, with the tomatoes, and a uh, fresh garlic paste. And then um, we'll come back. And another thing is, uh, as you can see, I haven't really chopped my intestines. The reason why, uh, you know, um, it hasn't defrost properly, so. This is like the shortcut way. I've put it in the pot for it to boil. And then as it goes along, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna try not to burn my hands while I do it. Anyway, peace, we'll come back when uh, this has been grinded up. the garlic in right now it's the first time I've had to film and cook at the same time that's what I call multitasking Brackham. I think this needs more water content to be honest Please. Thank you. Okay, let me put that in. I'm gonna start blending.
Okay, so now the blending's been done, and we're gonna add this to the soup. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Use the kettle to rinse this a little bit. Mm. See, I can see a bit more on the sides. Uh, thank, thank, thank you, man. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the salt content to this. Oh yeah. What's this one? Up to the jumbo. Hello. Okay, oh, there it is. Try to escape in there. Okay. Let me add a jumbo to this mix. It's smelling good. Bad thing about Nama Nama intestines, yeah, it stinks up the whole house. I know the soup stinks up the house anyway, but the Nama Nama puts it on overload. salt in here. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of this crayfish powder, seasoning powder. Add some fish taste in there. I'm gonna boil this slowly. I still want the nama nama to have enough time to defrost. This is the the base of the flavor. Which is killing my eyes. But it's all good. It's in the name of fufu. Okay. And this mackerel head right here, which you know, I can't wait to contaminate this thing right here. I'm gonna chuck this in towards the end. Yeah, depending on how the soup is. Also, depending on how thick you want it, or how long you want to boil it, there's no limit to how much water you want to put in. Because, you know, but the only bad thing is you don't want to overcook your meat. So, yeah, I'm going to let this boil for 15 minutes. I'll see how it's going. And then we'll carry on from there. Peace. Welcome, welcome back. This is just a little addition. You know, I keep forgetting to put things in. Uh, as, as well as the mackerel head I'm going to put in. Uh, I wanted to eat the eyes. The eyes are not there. Well, anyway. We've got some king prawns. Add some more flavour. It's a shame I couldn't smoke this. You know? It makes it stink even more. Nope. But I can overtake the soup. So I don't really want to do that. So, yeah, it'll be, this will be a nice addition that I'm going to add to this. But I'm going to add this towards the end when I'm adding the mackerel. It doesn't take long to do fish, you don't want to overdo it, otherwise we just put out water. So that's what I wanted to say. So yeah, I might as well show what the soup is looking like right now. But been about 10-15 minutes. You know? It's looking nice and kaish. You know? I'm gonna let this boil for a further 15 minutes and then I'll come back looking nice. I don't really have to do too much. Uh, it wasn't. It's not that salty, but again, I'm gonna check that content later. You know, please. Welcome back. Can I add? I took out the nama nama to chop them. It's defrosted, so I'm gonna chop it. So uh, we're gonna put this right in back into the soup. Oh. Mama. This is what my mom's soup is looking like right now. You know, she's trying to go the more healthy route. Uh, what's the word? 
Roots, yeah. She's going the healthy route. Yeah, I'm like, lost my English from her. Oh, I can't wait to chew this nama nama. Oh my day day. Okay. Oh, that was hot. Okay, stir this a bit. Okay. So we're gonna come back when this is developing more. Okay. So in total, this has been boiling for about 20, 25 minutes right now. Uh, it's up to you how long you want to boil it. The more you boil it, there's different factors that play into it. I don't want to overcook the meat too much. But at the same time, I want there to be enough flavor. So we'll come back in 50 minutes, see how it's going. Peace. Okay, welcome back. It's been about 15 minutes. It wasn't hot enough, so I'm adding more chili. I'm using my mum to help me. Oh, wait, she's adding some to herself as well. And what I'm also going to do is add this mackerel inside it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, and I, I, I added a tiny bit more salt because it wasn't salty enough. So, mm. Welcome to your new home. No! Okay. And, um... I'm gonna use a couple of these. Obviously, my mom wants to use them, so I have to use a small one. Um, add one of this. What was that? Just one. Oh, yeah, I added one king, king prawn. That's what I did. So I've just added the king prawn and a mackerel head. Trust me. Your soup look appetizing. You can have some, mom, don't worry. No, worry. no, don't worry. You can have some. If you want, you can join your soup to mine. We make Would a big soup. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I don't want death. No, you just realized I just made the appetite bush soup. Not bush meat soup, but I mean, I consider myself to be a bushman, so this is what I call the bushman soup. A lot of people use bush in a negative way, was it connotation, in a negative way they use the word bush. But I use bush in a positive way because we all came from the bush. Even Moses came from the bush. I mean from the Bible. So we should be proud of the bush. Our proverbs are based on the bush. If you listen to a lot of the proverbs that is in Ghana from the different tribes in Ghana, they come from the bush. We should treasure the bush because the bush is also what, what feeds us, right? So what's the shame of coming from the bush? Anyway, for some people, what I mean by bush, I mean the forest. Don't be thinking of some other sexual term. Now. I'm, not, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about forest. We should be proud. So yeah, this is... Trust me. Any bar... Any apeteshi bar in Kumasi will have this. They'll have their glass of apeteshi, and then they'll have a tiny bit of uh, you know, a ponchi crack, you know? Like soup. Anyway, we're gonna let this boil for about another 10 15 minutes. Okay. 15 20 minutes. And it should be done, it's smelling good. Is that light soup? It looks thick soup. I know, it's meant to be a light soup, but it is a light soup. But you it's don't just like light. your light soup light anyway. So. Yeah, I like my light soup. Mo, 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 mo. Stinky, stinky. Anyway, my mum's wants me to end this. Peace. It's fufu time. Welcome back. The food is done. I've got my mum dishing out for me. I don't want to make no mistake with this fufu. So this is uh, this is my first soup I've made on camera. I've made soup before, but I'm not, I haven't filmed it. So this is my first soup on camera. Got the nama nama right there. Got the prawn right there. Fufu. I'm guessing this is the aponcha nam. Some more nama nama. Baka. Baka. Kaish. Kaish.
nice. That one, that, that, that's good. Just soup now, please. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'll say to do. Prempe. A poco wari. It doesn't eat fufu. Because it's got osa. I mean the original Osei <laughs> Mum, come on. <laughs> the one who created the Asante. Who <sighs> got killed by the Achim. But you know, it is what it is. We're all united now. So it doesn't matter. Okay, so what we have here is light soup. Okay. Intestines light soup. A ponche. Ne nama nama and quine. I don't know if I said it right, but some nice light soup or nama nama. Let's click go. This is, this is just perfect. This is what I needed. You know, I added extra peppers, nice and hot. So I'm gonna end this on this note. Peace.